nigga, what are you doing right now? The big V. Look, man. All right, man. Let's just jump right into this shit. <laughs> so, uh, I made my wife wake so, up and drive me there anyway. You, <laughs> Is it major? What's that going on? What's that going on? ¿Qué pasó, papá? ¿Cómo estás? Any questions? Now, when you bought that sweater, right? You just go, fuck it. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going full Mr. Rogers. You've tuned into the Match at a Podcast. One, and we are live. Motherfuckers, we are back. I was like starting off aggressive. All right, man. I had to hit, I had to tell you to hit record this time because uh, we were talking about Chick Fil A as yeah. you're enjoying right now, mm-hmm. dude. I didn't have Chick Fil A till I moved. I didn't even know what the fuck Chick Fil A was till I moved to Tampa or St. Pete. Jesus, how old were you? Right, uh, thirty. God damn! 20, I thought I was twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. I don't. I might have been twenty-seven. It's all a fucking blur now, bro. It's yeah. all a blur. Yeah, like it was fucking. I was like, dude, like what? What is this Chick Fil A sauce? Like the, the employees are nice and they they'll go out of their fucking way to save you. Like what is this shit? They don't give you what attitude. When they yeah. fuck up, they're Not like, oh shit, we ain't got no fries, <laughs> oh, bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> no, you can't have it your way. This ain't Burger King. Oh, well, it actually is. Then that's why I know. That's why Burger King is now dying and closing. Yeah. Shout out to four hundred stores being closed, man. Yeah. Shout out to all their coupons. They're on like a going out of business sale every day with those crazy coupons. Dude, that it makes me think of uh, what was that? Don't mess with the Zohan. Going out like a uh, mm-hmm. the other what was it? Uh, other people are like uh, going out of business. Are you going out of business? No, no, it's it's just good for business. Yes. That's, <laughs> dude, I got that coup. I got like a pamphlet. I got like a book. Of fucking coupons like the day after you showed me yours you yeah. showed me your coupons and i was like holy shit i was like buy one get everything free i was like how the yeah. fuck are you making money that family like, how is this how is this business effective 12.99 three yeah, whoppers dude, that, that three cheeseburgers three sodas fries i'm like for 13 bucks i get about 45 sandwiches what and <laughs> and they didn't take my fucking coupon at the window so i'm gonna reuse that shit because i thought it was like <laughs> a specific barcode or upc so when I got back to the yeah. house, I looked at the coupon numbers and no, all the like, I, I think I had like two coupons for the um, the original chicken sandwich. It's like three ninety nine for right. two original chicken sandwiches. Mm-hmm. It's the same coupon number on both tickets, on both coupons. So it's not like a an individual one that once you use it or they scan it, it's done. No, it's just like right. that particular coupon on all the books they send out has the same number and they let me keep that That's... shit. So I don't even need to get new books. So in it's the just mail. like a... So it's just like an advertisement. It's not even like it's not even like a coupon deal. It's just like, hey, this is what we're doing now. We're just giving away food. Yeah, here, just give us five I cents. Have... Just give us some money because we're about, we're we're claiming bankruptcy. Give us something. Dude, I remember when I was when we were younger. Right? Yo, hold on, age. I'm sorry. That's like the equivalent of like somebody on the street with a sign saying like, "I'm going through hard times. Can you help my family yeah. and I?" Like that's what Burger King is yeah. doing right now. They just got yeah, that sign 100%. out saying like, "Just whatever's in your heart." Dude, like, I don't remember, I, I can't remember, like, the last time I had Burger King, like, for real, for real, and I don't know anybody who still goes to Burger King, but then again, I have a lot less friends now than I used to, so even if they did, it's not like I would know, it's not like motherfuckers are checking in at Burger King. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Like, that's not, that's not, <laughs> Has anyone ever done that? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. That's where they failed, man. They didn't they realize the power of social media, man. Oh, shit. Nine, nine o'clock on a Friday. The Burger King check-in. That's Some how you. That's wrong. how you Some, know who's about to commit suicide. <laughs> oh shit! Some ain't. Some ain't right. Some yeah. ain't right if you uh, nine o'clock checking in at a BK. Man, if that's not yeah, a cry I for help, a, I don't know what is. No, it's a hundred percent a cry for help, right? Like it's it's a thousand percent a cry for help. Dude, it's like I, I was like, man, like I, I might want to get BK, but I was like, hmm, I don't. If they're if they're giving away food, their standards can't be that good. Fuck around and eat it, and I'm shitting on the toilet the rest of the weekend. That's probably not the. Possible. Not the best bet, you know what I mean? There's that. I used to fuck with their chicken sandwiches, like the all-time the longer, like the yeah, all all time favorite chicken sandwiches. That one, I, I hate it when they try to do like the they try to do like a meatball sub chicken sandwich, like yeah, a yeah. like a they they added the parmesan cheese and the sauce. I was like, all right, bro, you're doing too much. Yeah, keep it simple, keep it classic, unnecessary dude for you to add sauce. Agree. Well, goddamn, I can't believe that shit, man. Burger King is dead. Shout out to Chick Fil A though, always good. Except uh, I had a racist experience at Chick Fil A. I don't think I ever told you this. We no. were in Georgia when we were traveling, of course, and we always had always had good experiences. You know, it's Chick Fil A, 
And I forget exactly the the thing that happened, but it was almost like I was obviously I'm the only brown person in there. Mm-hmm. And they almost had like a moment of shock, like they didn't know what I was. I mean, I'm with my wife, you know, my wife's white. And like I have to say that like, people don't know. And uh, and it was just weird. And I was like, yo, that was racist, right? I forgot what it was because last year. <laughs> you, had to, you had to verify. It was so it was yeah, so it was shocking. Like, You're like, wait, that, that was racist, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think, like, I asked for ketchup, and, like, she ignored me, and then, like, my wife asked for ketchup, and she gave it to her. Like, one of those, like, blatant moments where I'm like, I'm I'm still a person, right? Like, I was like, because sometimes, like, obviously, I don't know how loud I talk sometimes, so, Mm -hmm. like, I try to make up for by talking lower, so sometimes I don't know if I enunciate it correctly or whatever the fuck, so I had to, like, check. I was like, yo, did I say that clearly? Like, then, no, she's like, no, that was racist. I was like, okay, cool, just check it. Okay, verified. I get I got the blue check on Twitter. Like, okay, yeah. that was racist. I'm, I'm verified. I'm Yo, good. Oh man, I thought I'm I was deprived. I the first time I had Chick Fil A, I was because uh, we both grew up in the same in Miami Springs. There was no Chick Fil A mm-hmm. down there. Mm-hmm. There was one in nope. Palm Beach County or the mall somewhere in Boynton and Boynton uh, Beach, and that was when I was like 19. First time I ever had Chick Fil A. Yeah. No, I'm lying. So I probably had it when I was in Tallahassee at some point when I went to Florida State. But probably, uh, yeah. But that was uh. When I first had it, I was like, what the fuck is going on? And why is this not <laughs> in Miami? Are you kidding I me? I think there's like, I think there might be a couple in Miami now. I'm not exactly sure. Because, you know, I don't live in Miami anymore. And by the time I discovered Chick-fil-A, I was already older. Yeah. But I think there might be one or two. And like, I'm thinking like Doral and like the higher income areas. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's any like in Brown Sub or uh, Alabama. Probably not. No, nowhere. You know what I mean? Liberty I don't think City, that's. You're not going to find one. No, uh, I don't. You don't. I don't think they're gonna see. You're gonna see one in Little Haiti. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not stereotyping Chick Fil A, but you know, there's a certain uh, demographic, demographic that they, that they yeah. yeah, that they appreciate over others. People right? that love like, chicken. That's what we're talking uh, about. <laughs> yeah, which again should be an Alapata and, and a Brown Sub, right? You, and, you would think. And, like I'm saying, right? Because hey, listen, Dave Chappelle told me they were quite fond of one another, that's so right. I'm gonna believe that's the day I die. I have, I'm That's just right. saying like this. I have yet to meet a black. I have yet to meet a black vegan. Is all I'm saying. Hasn't happened. I don't know one. Personally, like I don't yeah. know one. I'm sure like there's some athlete. I think maybe Kyrie, but he's a flat earther that might be vegan. Yeah, that know. doesn't count. He's a flat earther. You know who did go doesn't, vegan? Uh, damn, what's yeah. that running back from the Houston uh, the Texans? Who kept getting injured, so he tried to go vegan. Uh, he he was he oh, was nice. Um, he was nice. Uh, Aaron but, Foster. Yeah, yeah, he went vegan. He was vegan, then he he stopped, yeah, he but he did it for like three years. But I don't know if he was injured because he was vegan, or he went vegan because he was injured all the time. Either way, the injuries fucking cut his career short. I think. Yeah, that he was a he was a beast. He he was, a, I think he had like a two thousand yard rushing season. Mm-hmm. He was really good, but I think it was the vegan fall off. I think, I don't think at that level of athlete you can try to compensate for protein that you could just get from like a steak or a chicken. You know what I'm saying, like. Just looking at it like in that sense, like yes, there's superfoods and super pro- and all that stuff. Dude, yes. You can get it all if you're from, a run. Yeah, if you're, I think if you're like a runner, for sure be you know what I mean or a cyclist for mm-hmm. sure be vegan. I, I'll give you that one, right? But like impact sports like basketball and football, no, I think you should just go ahead and uh, get some elk and like smoke that shit out and eat it for the week or some shit. Like you should definitely be eating some real real protein not like compensating protein man it's real protein that's the thing but it's just because i've done i I, and i did it for a really short period of time like four months i did the vegan thing mel uh, mel was deployed um so i'd make my own stuff and then the kids would have their own thing or my mother-in-law who was living with us would cook for the kids Mm -hmm. and then she'd get upset i wouldn't eat her food (laughs) she would tell my wife every time she called and i'm like can you just tell her that (laughs) come on i've already told her she knows that i'm just doing this right now and so she would tell her, like, hey, right. he's just going through one of his phases. He's trying something else. Yep. First, it was, like, uh, vegetarian. Then it was, like, seeds and, and nuts. And then it was, like, I, I did the whole, what is it? Jordan Peters paleo. talks about paleo. Or not even paleo, but, like, just, like, all meat. So oh, I, uh, carnivore diet. Carnivore diet. So I've done all that yeah. stuff. And, and they have merits. And they, they work. But the vegan thing... <sighs> It's not that they're not real protein, but you need so much more with, yes. you know, to get the protein where like on a six ounce piece of chicken, you have 30 grams of protein on a small six ounce piece of chicken yep. and you need so much more vegetables. And I mean, I, it's better for you, but it's just, I don't know. You just have to change the way you eat, probably eat more throughout the day. Anyway, I don't know how we started talking about veganism when we, I'm having some do. fucking this Chick-fil-A. 
yeah. or had some Chick Fil A. <laughs> this is what we do, though, right? This yeah, is what yeah. we do. What you What you get at Chick Fil A? I got the uh, I got the classic with Colby and uh, Colby Jack and bacon. Yeah. And the large, you know, okay. waffle, large waffle fries and some of that extra fucking. By the way, Chick Fil A sauce. That Chick-fil-A fucking Chick Fil A honey. What is it? Uh, that honey mustard barbecue sauce. The yep. one that comes in the little yep. packets. Yep. Best sauce yep. ever. Best yeah. sauce yeah. ever. Every time I have that shit, I'm like, there's yeah. nothing out there that compares to that shit. Nah, also, nah. Uh, yum, fucking yum, and out burger. Yum yum gets it run. Also, because yep. I was in Cali yep, yep. and I'm like, I don't know why people. What's the big deal about in and out burger? It's trash. I said it. Not good. Oh, yeah, I've had I, it every I, time I, I've gone. I don't like it. I prefer a chicken sandwich over a burger sometimes. Like, I prefer Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. Even the Popeye's chicken I prefer a chicken sandwich over a burger sometimes. I give, I'll give Wendy's, uh, their bur- I'll give their burger some cred, though. Yeah. I like their burgers a, a little bit better than, than most places. Yeah. But for me, I always, there's no, there's no normal way to say this, but uh, Five Guys' burgers are pretty solid. Yeah. You do Man, like, like you, you no, do like you, you some know five guys. Like this, I know. <laughs> uh, there's, there's no way to say that. Like I was talking, I was telling my wife the other day. I was like, "There's no like straight, like comfortable way to be like, yo, like, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to Dicks." Oh yeah. man, I really want some Five Guys. Like you can't say yeah, those two you things. You just together, like the right? way that like, Five Guys packs that meat. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, exactly. See what I'm saying? Like there's no, there's no way to say it otherwise. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Exactly. See, this yeah. is what we do every fucking time. Like, like that oh, man, juicy two five guys meat. That's how you love it. Then we start, we start talking shit. We start talking shit yeah. like this. But I, 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 it's more comfortable saying five. Uh, this is weird. It's more comfortable saying five guys than dicks, though. I don't know why they would call it dicks. Very, very, com- very confusing. I'm guessing that's the guy's name. It's the only thing I can think of. But like, yeah, you know, man, Sports Authority didn't have. You know, it wasn't like penis sports. You know what I mean? Fucking weird. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's just weird, bro. And every time I say it, Javi gets a giggle out of it because, you know, he's a 12-year-old and that's what 12-year-olds do. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, obviously. I mean, look, we're fucking 36 and you're about to be 37. So yeah. we still say it. It was like, yo, that's that's a terrible name. I know. It's like, it's hey, I'm going, I'm going to story. Dick's. And Javi's like, Dick's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you're going to Dick, all right. Oh, shit. But, uh, but yeah, man. All right, let's get into it. Right, so last back. week, last week we got a... Uh, I always like to be careful how I say these things, right? Last week with a coworker, mm-hmm. I was having a conversation, you know what I mean? And I work with a lot of conservatives, you know what I mean? Older, older people or whatever. And we're in the room and dude is talking like, man, every time I ask liberals, they can't give me five reasons why Trump is racist. So I don't, after the last conversation we had, I think the whole uh, shooting in Kenosha shit, I was like, yo, man, I think we're done talking, like talking politics and th- to that level, right? But, to make it anything. but I thought it was but I just thought it was funny that like the the bar was at five things mm-hmm. like that's I didn't engage in it like I was like look I'm exhausted I was having a long fucking day and then I'm working almost 15 hours that day I mm-hmm. was good right I was all set on not having that conversation because I would have and you know I'm loud as shit to begin with but I was thinking and I thought to myself well he's having it because everybody else in the room is talking about it and I'm just like typing away on my computer or just doing busy work to not engage Right. And I was like, why is five the bar? Like for anything. Like and like it, even if you flip it to anything else, well, oh well, give me five reasons why they won. Hey man, they scored more. Like what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like yeah. what other things? What other like I don't understand. I was like, why he goes like, oh, five things and like off the top of my head, I was like, put kids put kids in cages, uh in the nineteen eighties, what by Central the Department Park of Justice. Five. Yeah, and the Department of Justice said that he was literally uh Destroying his tenants because they were black. Uh, Central Park Five uh, called white nationalists good people that are actually white nationalists to every level hate everything about America. And then he and or his campaign said they never said that even though it's on tape. On Fox yeah. News tape, on yeah, every exactly. tape. <laughs> yeah. Like, we could get into the whole thing about, like, the losers and suckers, but I was like, that just that then just just becomes, like, a Trump podcast, and I don't want that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But I just, I just found the... I just found it funny that I was like, "Hey man, five, give me five reasons or five things." I was like, "Why five? I like, if I so what if he just if he says the n word, then is, is that the Trump card? Like, no. just because he just because somebody doesn't say the n word, what do you have to do? Doesn't man? mean they're not. You have to do you have to what, like wh- fire a black person, call them the n word while they're being fired, tell them that they're yeah. on government cheese, and burn a cross, burn a cross. Like, what the fuck? And then lynch them? Like, I, I need those five things. No, Ben. Yeah, you're Latino. 
Yeah. Why? Give me it's five it. reasons. Give me five reasons. Exactly. Dude, it's so it's so weird. Uh, my mom's Hispanic. My mom, my dad's Hispanic, and I was born in Panama. Ah, shit. I don't got two more. Right. I guess Give I'm not more. Latino then. <laughs> That's it. That's Give all I got. <laughs> I speak Spanish. You know what I mean? Like, dude, it was so stupid. Like, it was uh, like, why? Like, I, how did you? Like, I was thinking to myself, like, how did you come to that determination that five? It's that magic is number. like. Because if like if I gave you four mm-hmm. valid reasons, like ah, but you can't give me five. Well, okay, well I just gave you like for anything. Like, it's just right. it was just so weird. And then he's like, oh, they, and I wanted to be a dick, right? Because you know I'm an asshole. And give me five goes, reasons uh, why uh, Hitler was uh, anti-Semitic. Anti-Semitic. Yeah, he killed exactly. six million Jews. All right, give me five, four more reasons. That's four more reasons. That's it. Yeah, so stupid, bro. But he goes, what was it that he said? He goes, oh, the unemployment rate for uh. For blacks is the high, lowest it's ever been. Mm. Oh, and I wanted to be a dick. I was like, man, what was the unemployment rate during slavery for black people? Like, what were they were they just like hanging out? Like, I'm sure it was zero percent, right? <laughs> like by your own argument, by your own argument, <laughs> slavery was the best time for black people. Right? Like, it's not. <laughs> you see, black black people get murdered in the street by by uh, people who are supposed to be accountable. No, that's 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 all they want. And you're like, oh, but they give them jobs, like, a- and they were <laughs> and they were given shelter and food. What? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And sometimes they were raped and not looked as people and separated from their family. Like, what are we, like, what are you talking, like, dude, it was so weird, like, five. I, and I just, like, when he said that, I just, like, looked up. I was like, why five, though? Like, why is five the bar? You know what I mean? But that, that shows, like, and it was weird because, like, everything he's saying about, quote, unquote, liberals and progressives is, like, everything liberals and progressives say about conservatives Mm -hmm. like literally like almost verbatim like oh man they want to destroy the country they want their own all all this stuff i was like i i was i was listening to that shit and i learned that i was like wow dude like we're that level of disconnected we're like we're literally saying the same thing yeah but we just don't hear ourselves you know what i mean like literally i was like i was like it it was so dude i mean like to the t everything you and i talk about and complain about except for like oh black people need to know their place basically is like their defense for cop killings of unarmed black people you know right. what i mean like oh they, they just got to comply that whole argument other than that like for the for the most part they it's they're talking points are the same things we say mm-hmm. but they make excuses for why it's not happening and like in my mind because i can only speak for myself like i'm trying to find solutions to those problems but i'm not educated enough or know enough to be like look this is and everybody and everybody goes well what would you do hey man i'm not a politician bro i'm not I'm just an some economist. asshole in yeah yeah I'm I'm just some asshole on the internet, A and B, some asshole in in public in the operating room, where we're just discussing shit. Like we're not formulating laws here, bro. Mm-hmm. We're just two people talking shit. Like, but what, what? Like, why do I have to come up with a solution while you're bringing me as problems? Like, how the fuck does that work? Five things, John. Five. Tell me five reasons why your hair is so smooth. Coconut you oil. All you can say is like those fruits and berries. What? And I can keep going. And I drink water all day. I that's shampoo it, every other day. I use volumizing shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> and I use a hairbrush that massages my scalp. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm like? Why? Like, why is it five things? Like, you, what yeah, I you knew like, you were gonna, gonna hit me with hair. that. I was ready. I had to prepare ahead of time. You, son, you were you had it loaded, boy. You had it loaded. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's so stupid. Like five reasons. Like, it's so dumb, bro. I, I'll give you an extra one for extra so, credit. Number six. I, I don't use products on my hair. Yeah, okay, all right. We're enough. We're moving on. With your fucking name. Fuck you and that Chick fil A, son. I don't want a Chick fil A now. I know. I'm getting that shit tomorrow after the Springs. But, dude, it was like, because to me, what that shows is like, they know he's racist, but like, they want to be overwhelmed. You know what I mean? Yeah. With like reasons why. But they're going to be reasons that they explain away anyway. There's you know a term I mean? for like, that. So, I, like, I. There's a term for that, whether it's someone, like, a conservative or a liberal, like, people want overwhelming proof. Uh, in order to change, you know, your, their point of view. I forget what the term yep. was. There's a, there's a psychological term for that. Where like, you know, someone that's convinced of what their belief, their beliefs or their beliefs. And it's the truth that they're looking for overwhelming, uh, overwhelming proof. And then it happens with people that but, are stuck in a uh, eco chambers, you know, it's yeah on both sides. It happens. But it's also, but it's also like, I think it's going to be even harder than that. Cause even if I, if I would have given the, the, the guy five reasons, right. I would have, I would have a, have, would have had to attach those things to feelings. Because he feels a certain way of yeah. why this person is not racist or whatever. So, like, if I give him facts, that doesn't matter, right? Because it makes 
Trump to give him all the cre all credit with that. He makes people feel a certain way. So yeah. he, you have to the the facts that I give have to be attached to feelings. That's the reasons why that happens. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So like even even if I gave him the five reasons, it'd be all explained away. So like, oh no, but oh no, but oh no, but I'm like, okay, then that's it's pointless here. You know what I mean? Because even the five reasons wouldn't mean anything. It was just weird. Like, I was like, why five? Why not three? Why not seven? Why not eleven? Like what? Why is five the number you came to? Why is it the number you settled at? It, it's it's enough of That's a list. Where it, it, it takes you a lot to think, and they didn't come up with it. Someone did, right? Someone. Yeah, someone told them that it was five reasons. Yeah, you read that in, in some article somewhere where it says liberals can't come up with five reasons why Trump is racist, and then they read that article, mm -hmm. and that article went viral in, in that, you know, in that demographic, and 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 because I haven't read that article, I'm sure I can find it if I want yeah. to. I'm and so sure. now that's 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 another we'll call it a talking point, but that's that's where they got that number. It's a nice even well, it's not yeah. even, but a five is a nice number, right? It's like it's yeah. just it's not ten, it's not a crazy number where you give me ten reasons. It's not seven because seven is just it's it's weird. I don't like it's a weird number. Five is a nice it's number. It's a weird number, yeah. And it's it's also just like yeah. too many reasons. It makes people think like I can't come up with five reasons. Don't list one or two, and then they struggle, and then that's when they're like, "You see, you can't give me five reasons. Hell, you can't even give me three. Exactly, exactly. You can't give me three reasons. So what's the point? See, I told you he's not racist. Uh -oh. oh, okay. But then it would be like like if I brought up like the children in the cages, like oh no, but that's immigration. I was like, yeah, but he wasn't stopping the white countries, like. Literally, like it's just, yeah, it's that's the definition of racism. Like, you're picking which one you want to, you know what I mean? Who you yeah. want to punish. Hello, how you doing? Good, good morning. Like, the fuck are we talking about? Here? I don't know, dude. Like, it's not to like, and again, like, if it would have been a liberal that said that, I was like, why the fuck? Like, why five? Yeah, like, why five? Why, why is five the thing? But it does again, it wouldn't have mattered with the five. And if I engaged in it, and I'm partially deaf anyway, so I would have started yelling. And it was funny because, like, dude was like, oh, my daughter calls me a racist. Cause I support, cause I support Trump. I was like, and I, the one thing, the one job I did throw in was like, man, it must suck to be a conservative and know you raised a, a liberal child. Do you kind of feel like a failure? <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause it was like, no, it's these liberal schools. And that's, that's a whole nother talking for a whole nother. I don't understand for the life of me, how somebody who you spend three hours a week with is radicalizing you. You know what I mean? To become this liberal conservative when you've spent your entire life with your family. Like, I don't understand. I personally don't understand that. You know what I mean? And these are, like, the people who I'm talking to are, like, higher economical uh, situations. Right. So that's that's very much so the nuclear family. You know what I mean? The the they're, And they're raising white liberals as kids, which is, is just weird. I mean, like, that, doesn't that kind of sh have an indictment on your ideology and belief system of, like, right. if your kid that you raised your entire life show you that your ideology isn't what actually works, but I don't know. It's just weird, bro. It's just weird. That's because he taught his weird. kids to be uh, independent thinkers. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them to be free thinkers. And my dog's coming in the room. Which is the opposite of what he does if all he does is spew talking points, but... Yeah, Exactly. And again, I'm not Does saying it, that liberals are great because the liberals that are way out there on the left are not. annoying as shit. I can't send them either. <sighs> I can't. You're the fucking worst. Anybody who doesn't critically think annoys the fuck out of me, bro. Anybody who goes, who just, oh, we just got to get rid of Trump. Like, okay, man, but let's let's think about, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. don't also just be talking points because if, a man, a, a conservative talking point user and a liberal talk is the most annoying shit on the planet. I, I had that uh, conversation. Annoying, it, it took two. It took forty five seconds, and someone asked me, "What happens if Biden wins? Uh, this country's going to turn socialist and this that." The other. I said, "No, Trump and Biden are the same yep. person." And they said, "What?" I said, "They're the same yep. person, same individual, the yes. corporate money." Like mm -hmm. Trump talked about cleaning up yep. the swamp, but all he did was get people from private industry and lobbyists, former yep. lobbyists, to to into these positions mm -hmm. and cabinet positions, and then a lot of them have left or been fired. To do what? Go work in private industry after having time in the government. So yeah, you're telling yep. me he's cleaning up the swamp? No, they went back to work as lobbyists, having more insider knowledge. Yep. Biden is already paid for and bought by corporations. He passed all these crazy yes. bills in the 70s and 80s. Like, yes, a lot of racist shit. Biden is the same person. You exactly. know what makes a difference? If down the if down the ballot if down ballot, you're voting progressives. Not yes. just the president, because that's what makes that's what will probably make a difference when you're talking about Congress and electing progressives into Congress. 
That will make a difference. Right. Biden and Trump are yes. the same guy. One wears a red tie, one wears a blue. That's exactly the same. And they're like, and then they'll be like, "Oh man, he's a Marxist. Uh, he wants to destroy the country." And like you see these ads where like the nation will burn under under Joe Biden. I was like, "It's burning yeah, right why now." Why are you using Donald? Under Trump. Why are you using you? Donald Trump footage? Yeah. Why? You, like, how? Like <laughs> that's the funny like, part, what? right? I'm like what you think? Like people they, act like again, dude. It's it's, it's an indictment. It's like, like our, we'll, our, we won't talk about this. I know, ahead, but it's ahead, just like, are they? Are you looking into the future? Because that's footage under the current president, under the current administration. The, <laughs> dude, they showed like the Wendy's, uh, the Wendy's that got burned down when that dude in Georgia got shot, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is what'll happen all over the country. I was like, when Biden wins, I was like, but, but it's happening now, though. Yeah, right. Like people act like, look, Black Lives Matter started under Barack Obama. This isn't a left or right thing. This is a systemic thing that we constantly talk about. Like. Joe Biden and and Trump are the exact same person. Joe Biden wrote the ninety four crime bill that started mass incarceration in private prisons. Yeah, Joe Biden almost right to work uh, for one. Yeah, Joe Biden didn't allow uh, school loans to be uh, thrown away when you were when you filed for bankruptcy, and so and it's a debtor's prison. That means that if he, if you die, it gets carried on to your kids. It's crazy. Joe it's Biden crazy. wrote that bill. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's like for people to say that he's a Marxist. He's a he's a, like what do you what do you, you talking about the seventy eight year old guy? He's a progressive like the guy who's been in his in, in bought by corporations for fifty something years. That's the guy. The only progressive in the whole thing was Bernie Sanders, and then they destroyed him. Yeah, they un they unman they cut off his balls and unmanned him. Yeah, and of course Bernie Tuesday. is anyway. a millionaire too, right? He's got his house in Vermont and elsewhere, and he's worth like yeah. four million or whatever. I'm like, yeah, the dude's yeah. been in politics making. Six figure salary, and he's been in politics for what 30 40 years plus, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, he's making decent money because he's at the highest level of, of political office besides the presidency. You're yeah. gonna make money, like that's that's how you make money working in, in, in government. If you look at these senators and and you know, uh, congressmen's uh, salaries, yeah, and congresswomen's salaries, like they're they're making they get- money. And they give themselves raises every year. Like, what are you talking about, mm-hmm. bro? Like, it's so it's so fucking crazy. Yeah, you're gonna you're going right, to man. amass that 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 uh, wealth just by, that wealth. by having that job. So like, that's and what every congressman is making. Like, every congressman should have that. But there are there are many think, congressmen think, that are worth much 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 more. And then you begin to wonder, well, how I, did you make that money? There was, I think Bernie Sanders, like Bernie Sanders, is worth like four million dollars. Mm-hmm. But the other, other part of it is like he's the poorest senator, right, in the Senate. <laughs> one of the yeah, you know what I'm saying, like. Yeah, I think him and I don't know who else like takes that much. So maybe like another like no unnamed senator that isn't like a high end guy. Mm-hmm. But I think they take corporate money. They take corporate money and it's a wrap. Like Bernie got rich because of his book that he wrote in 2016. But that's the only thing he doesn't do is take corporate money. But that's why he's so hated. Yeah. Um. But yeah, dude, it's it's it was fucking strange. Oh, like, shit. Five things. Like why five? Five things. I'll tell you What's one up? thing. I'm about to murder this little white dog over here because he just stepped into the room. <laughs> I love you, dude. I love you, but you're almost 14, and I just want to put you out, out of your misery. No? Okay. Yeah, my dog. Um, he was working earlier, is, uh, but he's going to do it. My I, dog I is can over here it. sitting. My dog is over here sitting by the door, getting ready to start panting and crying. He just walked oh, away. Son, he's looking I, for something to bark at. Son, let me tell you something. I bought a, a robot. There it is. There it is. I bought a robot vacuum. So I refused to buy... First of all, I refused to pay three hundred dollars for a vacuum, which is what the Roomba was. I was like, and then uh, my cousin, my cousin in law was here, and he was like, "Dude, just get like the the generic one. It's the same technology, it same is. shit, and you're good." Where'd I you was get like, it, dude? That's fucking. I bought it at Walmart. It's called like Ufi or U E U F Y. It was like one fit. It's a good brand, right? And it was like, I had, yeah, good brand. I had already read reviews on it. The only issue is, I'll say this: it's the same shit as like my. Uh, Remember like that that router booster that I bought, like the signal booster. Mm-hmm. I ended up buying like the two and a half gigahertz, and my my router's five gigahertz. Yeah. The the Wi-Fi app thing for my for my uh for my robot vacuum is two and a half gigahertz, so I can't connect it. So I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. I just but it comes with a remote control, so I was like, I just hit playing and it'll be straight. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, that's Dude, a brand. Up. That's a Chinese brand, and it's uh. But again, uh, they have security systems. They have all sorts of stuff, and uh, yep. yeah, don't pay the four hundred dollars for a Roomba when you can pay get a Refused get that at fraction of the price. Dude, I got that shit, and and I was like, man, I just needed to pick up because you've been to my house. You see how much dirt 
we track in because of all the dirt walking into the house. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, if it just picks up a fraction of the dirt, I'm good. And dude, like it picks up all the fucking dirt, all of it, like except for like grout where like the grout lines are a little higher or whatever. Yeah. But it picks up almost all of it, man. I was like, dude, it was so much. It was so much better than I thought it was gonna be. Same shit. Yeah. I was hyped about that shit. I just like I th- I think I sent you a picture of it. I was hyped. I'm I like, saw yeah, it. boy. I, I you got excited and like you were excited about this fucking thing. I just saw a picture of a a robot vacuum on a fucking towel floor. I'm like, oh, okay, that's nice. But obviously, it's, it's doing yeah. something for you because you're super excited about this shit. A hundred percent, dude. I was like, dude, it was so good. I was like, yo, we called it Jeffrey from uh, Fresh Prince. <laughs> that's it. racist as fuck. It Jesus is right. It is. Christ. I told my, I told my, I told my, I was like, I think this is racist. It's an, it, it's, like, it's what's the racist. color? What's the color of your, uh, of your vacuum? It's, I mean, it's, it's black. Oh, okay. It's, it's a black vacuum. I just wanted to double check yeah. and you called it Jeffrey. Yeah, All right. It's not, it's not a, I mean, it's not a, it's not a person. You know what I mean? Like I, I treat okay. it really well. Like I, I make, I, I well, take it, they put it in its home. It was nice, uh, doing this podcast with yeah. you. I just got, we just got canceled, didn't we? But uh, we I'm glad that and, uh, Javi's working on the graphics for our podcast. So he's on Canva working on yeah. that. So uh, you can it's, watch uh, when we this launch. This is the end. This, <laughs> this, is, this is how it ended. Uh, ben... <laughs> I was like, that's, I was like, I, I think that's racist. I was like, that, first of all, I want to I say for the record, my wife named it. So I, I just want to. I'm like, oh, I think that's pretty racist. Like, it's not racist. It's Jesus, now you, now I'm you're like, just, pretty now you're just pushing that shit off on your wife. You're just yeah. like cleaning your hands off this whole 100%. mess. Uh huh. One hundred percent. I mean, yeah, haven't no, Jewish listen, people I'm, had enough? Well, thankfully, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and now you're putting that shit We're, on her. We are one hundred percent. This is one hundred percent gonna have to be a Patreon podcast just for, <laughs> just, just for that. I was like, yeah, we're naming it Jeffrey. <laughs> Fuck it. Like, what? It is what it is. That's a good Speak- name for it, man. It cleans up really well. Um, good. Speaking of, I was gonna say, speaking, <laughs> of gonna say? speaking of cleaning, you're telling me something about uh, you figured out a new way to clean your freaking cast iron skillet. Son, like uh, I've struggled. First of all, cast iron skillets, fuck them, because it's cool that the whole thing gets hot, right? If you have a cast iron skillet, the whole thing gets hot. Yeah, you all didn't right, know cool. that shit. I burned my hand. In. It's it's metal. No, no, no I learned thing. the whole thing. I, the whole thing. The whole thing. First of all, it's not. It's yeah, it's iron. You didn't learn so, by just looking at it. Yeah. Okay. No, I learned, and then like I accidentally touched the handles. Like, oh, that's hot. So I wear my like my my uh, oven mitt, and I grab. It. But like I was always, I would always struggle because it would always be like shit stuck on the top of it, right? Like when you when you're cooking like with any kind of like sauce or anything that's yeah. it'll like be cooked on. Did you see? So it? you have to like cook. You do have. To, I did season it, and I cleaned it right. But I, I didn't know you're supposed to clean it with like with salt. I was supposed to clean it with like water and soap. We put a little bit of water just to get the salt, like I don't know, like soupy. I guess mm-hmm. is I, I forgot the word, but so you scrub it with the salt and that takes off all the all the caked on dirt because you don't need to use dish soap. And then you just season it with like we use a uh, grapeseed oil, mm-hmm. right? Which is what we do. Dude, it, it looks completely brand new. We have two cast iron skillet, like a small and a large. Yep. Game changer, but look, they look completely brand new because the one that was looking pretty rough. Cause I had a lot of stuff cooked on, mm-hmm. and I didn't want to like scrub it off, so I had to use like the we have to use the the hard cloth ones, the hard cloth uh, pads, because you can't do it exactly with a, yeah, with a like regular a brittle pad or some shit, yeah. Or just yeah, you got to do like pad. a hard brittle pad. Yeah, so it's a bitch, bro. But yeah, I was like, we watched like I watched like two or three YouTube videos. I was like, I think I got it. Then not realizing that like that the coarse pad that you have to use gets hot as fuck really quick. So like I'm holding it with a with like paper towels to hold the little pad to scrub it off, trying not to burn my fucking fingers off. And I was like, I'm old as fuck. If this is a thing that like, that seems cool to me now. Where like right. I re- completely rejuvenated this cast iron skillet. And I was like, Oh man, this is pretty cool. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with me? What is wrong? But now with you me? can make it now. Now it's brand new. So you can make like a, a Denny skillet. I'm going to make a, a Denny yes. Southwestern skillet. Dude, I haven't. I have. I've yet to try it. Like the next thing I want to do, I want to try like cooking stuff with it in the oven. Cause I, I, you could do that. Like put it in the oven with like you could throw a bunch of pieces of bacon in there and throw it in the oven. I want to try that, but I haven't. Cause yeah, whatever. But just learning different ways, bro. It's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Make sure you use uh, you know, some fucking mittens when you go grab it because it's you know iron. First of all, don't call them mittens, bro. 
fucking cuck. We'll what the mittens. fuck are they? They're all mittens. Look at them. That's what they are. Yeah, they are mittens. They, they don't have mittens, five right? fingers. Cause, 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 right? Because it's like, it would be, it would it makes more sense if it did to have five fingers. I don't understand why they don't make just a selection of a five finger mitten. It's just like a fucking, you just like this the whole time. Because then it would like, be this, called this a glove if it had five fingers. It should have, it should be a glove. Why don't they make oven gloves? We need to look into that for our man chatter store. Yeah. Oven gloves. We'll do that. We're oven. gonna we're gonna have some mad chatter oven gloves. <laughs> That'd be oh, so gosh. fucking cr- our stupid ass faces. Our stupid ass faces on an oven glove. <laughs> we're gonna put a fucking uh, cast iron skillet on the gloves with our faces in the middle of the skillet. <laughs> that would be so stupid. But yeah, dude. Yeah, that shit was pretty cool though. I was like, oh man, because I was like, I was worried about that. I'm about to like throw this heavy ass skillet away. Cast iron skillets aren't cheap. No. I rejuvenated that bitch, though, so I'm good. What the fuck you been up to, bro? How was your weekend, man? You didn't even talk about that shit. Uh, I did a lot of sleeping, man. I slept until, like, 10 o'clock, 10.30 every day. Although Saturday, we were supposed to go to the park. And, uh, you know, I told you, Mel's been talking... We've been talking about a security system for a while. Long time. And uh, I was like, all right, you know, I'll, I'll go get the Arlo camps or the we- Ufi or Wefi or whatever they have. I'll get the four camera right. system, hook them up. And, you know, I like the fact that they're wireless, but the fact that they're wireless also kind of bothers me a little bit, you know, with the battery life and mm-hmm. the the reach of the Wi-Fi, even though we have like the Google uh, mesh, like it just could be an issue. And so fucking Vivint salesman knocks on our door Saturday at some point and Mel- You still make salesmen like that? Huh? Bro, we get salesmen here all the fucking time. Not only every, it's funny because I hadn't, this is the one place where I've seen salesmen like that for all sorts of crazy shit. And the first thing they do is show you their, like their permit yeah. from one, the city. One, one question. I got, I got a question real uh-huh. quick. <clears throat> I'm trying to make sure I don't get canceled the second <clears throat> time on the show. How white is your neighborhood that you have sales? Do you have milkmen too? 97.3% I've never seen white. a salesman in my life. I know the oh, demographics okay. of my right. neighborhood. I'm All right, just checking, we are probably the only Latino family here. You make up the whole diversity. You yeah. make up all the diversity, right? You're Hispanic. You're West Filipino. Asian, your kids yeah, have Hispanic. Them. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. Okay, continue. Sorry. No, just there's another sure. family with a, a Filipino lady who grew up here in Cleveland. Born, I think, grew up in Cleveland. Not born. Uh, her, hus- her husband is. Um, I don't know where he's from. White guy from Cleveland, nurse. So they're like a, a mixed so. family too. Oh, mm-hmm. excuse okay. me. What's up? There's always one. There's always one. Wait, I mean, he's talking to his son right now. Off, uh, if you're listening to this, giving 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 the listeners a breakdown as to why you just cut yourself off in the middle of talking. Hey, man, your hair looks fake. I just want to let you know it looks like a toupee. It doesn't look real. All right, hey, no, man, get back. out of here. What? Look at this beautiful hair. As soon as you start right. talking shit what about happened? my hair, I started listening to you. No, of course you did. Yeah, I didn't want to leave dead air on the fucking recording of a podcast. <laughs> anyway, uh, 97.3% white is, is the fucking neighborhood. And uh, all you have these milkmen? salesmen. You guys no, have milkmen? We don't. Okay, just check it. it. All right. <laughs> Pleasantville I mean, ass. I, this is as far north as, as you can go unless you go to like Maine and shit. <laughs> Pleasantville. Yeah. Uh, it's Pleasantville. It's a good movie. Solid movie, Pleasantville. Reese Witherspoon, Tobey Maguire. All right, continue. Sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. So this dude, you know, every time a salesman fucking knocks on the door and Mel get answers the door, she, you know, tells him to hold on a second and she always gets me. And I'm like, why? Like, I, I get it that I was a recruiter and I went through this shit. Yeah. I was like, why can't you just be like yeah. the one that tells him I'm not interested? Like, just go to the next house. And um, yeah. no, thank you. Yeah. yeah. She's like, well, no, you can do that. I'm people. like, no, you can do it. You're never going to see them again. It's cool. But I have yeah, to be the one totally to do fine. it. Oh, you, you got to be the bad guy. So, but it so happens that okay. this was a security salesman and we were talking about it. And like, she got like this like glimmer in her eye and I'm like, oh shit, she wants this fucking security system. Uh, so yeah. after like two hours of talking to this dude, like I didn't know what, what it was fuck? for, by the way. At first, I, th- I didn't know it was for like Vivint or security or anything. So I was like, you know what? You did this. I told I told him no. I said, you did this. I'm going to talk to this dude for two hours and then tell him I'm not fucking interested. I'm going to waste his time. Hey, you son, you could have you, you could have just said no, but now I'm going to waste his time and tell him yeah, to yeah. give me more information about the product. And then I'll yeah. be like, yeah, mm-hmm, I'll, I'll mm-hmm. think about it. Give me your card. 
Uh, but <laughs> it turns out that <laughs> it was a security system, and I had researched Vivint. They were one of the options I was looking at. Uh, if I if I didn't do it myself, because the the, the do it yourself option, obviously they don't have the the part that Vivint does or ADT or any of these companies, which is the monitoring right. to, to police. And they right. have like the newer technology. That's how ADT is kind of behind the times. Like the, their, their technology is a little different and older and they're finally updating. But yeah, man, we fucking spent the day talking to the salesman and then the text came around 5.30 and installed the system uh, Saturday and uh, kind of fucked up my day because we we're going to the park and I was going to ride later on that evening. Yeah. Um. So now we have fucking cameras everywhere. And yeah, that's that. Sunday, I finally went for a ride. Even inside the house? No, not inside the house, but those we can do ourselves because it integrates with Google. So we can get our own cameras integrated with Google, just like the security system. Um, Oh, okay. All right. So like I can just fuck around with Javi and be like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? I see what you're doing over there. Yeah, I can see you. Yeah. Turn your phone off. Yeah, that's great. Like uh, my cousin in law has like cameras all inside and outside the house. Yeah. And I've thought about doing that, but you've seen where I live. Like, I don't want to get an alert on my phone that there's something at the, like, the back door. Yeah. And it's like a fucking Chewbacca Avatar or some shit. <laughs> you want to know. Then I'm, se- then I'm, no, but then I'm selling the house though, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not going to go out there. Listen, bro. Good, I'm not that guy in the movie. You should know I'm not that. that guy in the movie. like, oh, what? Yeah, I should know. And then I'm out. Right. I should know. I get that information. And then the house is up for sale. So we're getting the fuck so, out of here. The chupa, so, so, half, so what if the chupacabra there's is there? There's a half man, half cabra. So, yeah, <laughs> so if the chupacabra is there, you just want to be oblivious. You're like, I don't want footage. Yes. If it's there, I don't want to know it's yes. there, and I'm going to stay in this house. 100%. Don't you want to just see yes, the footage wanna, and be like, okay, we're out? No, no. Yeah. No, I, I want to live. And then you can give up the chickens. Like, nice, that's what's in your fucking solid, chickens. It wasn't a snake. A nice, I want a nice, solid, ignorant life if it comes to some shit like that. Dude, I. I don't know if I told you the story on the podcast before. I think I've told you otherwise. There was one day I was walking my dog. This is probably a year ago. So he's like super young, right? Because he just turned, he's like two and a half, two mm-hmm. and a half years old or whatever. Walking my dog is like 4.30 in the morning. Right. When you've been to my house, right? Like, you know, when you come uh, come out of my door and you go to the left, mm-hmm. like towards like the, the opening of the fields and all that stuff. Yeah. Like right by where the tree line is, I saw something. Don't know what it was to this day. I saw something that had like its own light almost. And it looked like it ran like a really tall gazelle. Right. And it's not like we, real quick. We don't have gazelles in this area, but it was like, dude, no shit. I'm not even making this up. Like I, was wide, sure. yo, I was wide, awake, but it was big, bro. It was, I was wide awake and you've seen that opening, right? So I'm talking about that opening. It's that's a like half Puerto Rican, half Scandinavian Chupacabra. I don't know. That, that's that might've been what it was. It could have been a breed. It could have been a, a mutt for sure. But it's the opening where, like, it's not on the side of where you drive into my house on that other opening. You know what I'm talking about? And, dude, like, yeah, literally, yeah. like, in the blink of an eye for me, it's, like, in and out of my vision. Like, I'm, like, I literally, like, I saw it and I was like, what the fuck was that? And I blinked and it was gone. Like, I didn't, I didn't hear it. For you to sell the house? No. So at that moment, I was like, nah, I don't know what I just saw. But, like, I froze. I, like, I know I saw some shit that, like, I shouldn't have seen. Because it was, like, so tall. It came out of a bush that was really short, mm-hmm. unless it was like it darted out from earlier. But I didn't I also like I just heard the the bushes, and then I didn't hear like it running though. It was really fucking strange, bro. So it's fucking uh-huh. hovering. Like, Jesus Christ! Okay, John, like no bullshit, dude. Like hey, what, this is a hundred. Like <laughs> your neighbor's no dog. Lie, what's your neighbor's dog's name? Uh, chaos. So nah, chaos. It was, if it chaos, was, if chaos turns up like fucking eating, his carcass just rotting. What are you gonna be like? Ah. Yeah. He probably was sick and the vultures no, got him. No, I'm not. Because the chaos is a wild ass. <laughs> yeah. Chaos is basically a wolf at this point. Yeah. That motherfucker could fight and kill anything. In my like, So if he loses, I'm definitely I, out. I thought I was but about like, to fucking pull out my knife when he came up on me the, that, that time. I was like, oh, yeah. shit, here we go. Yeah, no, he's a little crazy. And he's again in the front yard because my neighbors are assholes, but whatever. But yeah, dude, it was fucking weird. It was, I was like, what? Like, dude, like it literally had... It was like a grayish white color. At that point, like I didn't have the bright lights that I have on now. So like right. it didn't reach that far out. And I was like, what the fuck? And Drax is just looking and I'm just looking. But he doesn't even, he can't even react to it. Because like, I, cause I was like, what the fuck? Dude, like literally like it looked like in two, in two little jogs, it was completely out of the fucking, like out of completely out of my range of vision. Yeah. 
I mean, look, I recommend you get the camera. I, I recommend you get a security system. Because, like, I have Vivint now, and I, th I think the cameras are set up to pick up anything over 50 pounds. So that's, like, essentially a built-in chupacabra setting, right? Chupacabras are supposed yep. to be small and under 50 pounds. So if it captures chupacabra, it's just going to think it's just like a, a, a big dog, and it's not going to go off. So you have... You have uh, that sense of security in case, you know, to protect the house from actual intruders. And then if a chupacabra yeah. goes on, goes by the cameras, it's not even going to detect it. It's just going to be like, ah, it's just a dog walking by. Yeah. Hey, real quick. What if you, like, are watching the footage? Like, I'm, I'm talking to myself here. Mm -hmm. And then, like, all of a sudden, on one of them, there's just, like, a face right on the camera. Have you seen like them them haunting videos? I will like, for sure be YouTube? out there with like some crazy. I'll go into the I'll go to the websites and buy all the fucking equipment. And Mel <laughs> Mel Mel will leave me. Mel will be like, I'll be somewhere else. You figure? Because I've I told her so many times. I remember when I went on my when I went to San Antonio like a couple of years before I got in the army. I reclassed, and I said, you know what? Instead of flying and renting a car there, I'll take my own car and I'll drive from Washington State through Cali and Utah and all this stuff. Cause there's a lot of these like mm -hmm. old Western towns, towns from like the gold rush that are ghost towns now. Yeah. And like, I looked them up yep. and they're, yeah, I was like, I want to stop at these places. I want to give myself like eight days to travel and like set up cameras. You're and stupid. she said, what no. the fuck is wrong? She's like, I married you. Yeah, 100%. I, mar I said, yeah. yes, you may, you knew this shit Questioning about me. Every second we used to watch paranormal. Yeah. Like what was it called? Not paranormal activity. The, the, the funny uh, shit, ghost, ghost adventures or whatever they are. Yeah, goes the three white yeah. dudes that are out there filming. Look, it's an yep. orb. Oh shit! I'm like, yeah, yeah. Dude, let me go do there it. was this, <laughs> there was this show. And we'll, we'll we'll wrap it here in the next couple. Like, there was a show that I saw, and I never saw it again. Like, we were sitting there one day, yeah. and it was actually black dudes, like doing the ghost adventures. It is. It was the funniest show. I think I've, I've seen ever one. Seen. <laughs> like they went, they were like it's somewhere in South Carolina. I want to. I can't remember the name of the show. I'm gonna have to look it up and get back to you guys in the next episode. But dude, like, the, there was the, like these group of friends that were like in some slave town, like some slave house in South Carolina, where they had kill slave, and they're like, and the shit they were saying was the wildest and funniest shit I'd ever seen. But no, a hundred percent, I'm not stopping at a fucking ghost town, John. That's not happening, bro. You muted yourself, man. You muted yourself. You I, still. I got a yourself. notification that I that uh oh you can't see it because of the light. I got a notification yeah. that someone was outside, probably my wife letting the dogs out. Yeah. Yeah, but no, I'm not I'm not fucking with ghost towns. No? Jonathan Vallejo. On, no, fuck no, bro. A hundred percent no. Are you crazy? I mean, I don't no. know what to tell you, man. You haven't lived. No. Oh, here in Ohio, I gotta no, do no. that. They have you know how in, in a lot of those ghost uh, shows before I mean, we can wrap it up for real <laughs> we're still we're yeah. still good on time a lot of these shows yeah, we're they lock themselves up in like old plantations or old um like mental institutions and shit like that so they a lot of that shit if you've noticed and maybe you've paid attention to it i don't know they they happen in the, the midwest they happen in pennsylvania they happen in ohio so in ohio they have one of those where you can go and lock yourself lock yourself up for a, a night overnight or two nights I want to look into that shit because I know Tony would be off. He would be up for it. Javi would say he's up for it, and then he would like just fucking cry and, and wuss out at the last minute and punk out. Javi's not doing that shit. No, he's not for sure. He's Come not. On, no, Javi's not doing. But that I want to definitely lock myself oh. over. <laughs> you, you don't want to lock yourself up in like a hey. fucking room where they used to hold people that wore like uh, straight jackets no. and then they tortured no, them. Don't. I want to go into no. that shit. No, here you go. No, Here's yes. Ask, ask me again. Ask me again. No, 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 you don't, you don't even got to finish that question. Nope. Come on. Sure don't. Absolutely. You no, got flashlights, what you got knives, you got, what? you got weapons, what maybe. Of, hey, what type of white girl in a scary movie are you, bro? The fuck is, no, I'm not. No, I don't want to. No. <laughs> fuck no. No. Fuck to the no. No. no I've been away no. from Latino and black people for too long. Yes. Yes, Damn. bro. You, you know what? Your town is now 98.3% <laughs> white. <laughs> Did I, I increased I increased the Caucasianness of this city. <laughs> yes, yes. There's white people you live with next door that wouldn't do that wild that shit. That are not as white as Mind I am. Probably, all right, I got you. They probably need pacemakers and shit like that, but they do. No, they're man, all like fuck sixty no. plus, most of them. Yeah, yeah. So is, so are my neighbors. Like every, I'm the only me and the Hispanic woman next door that I never see uh, are the only Spanish people in my whole little community here. And my dirt road uh, oasis. 
Damn, man. I mean, you want to do it? No. You got a gun? You got a cast iron skillet? No, bro. You're good. Good for the night. No. Unless the cast... I need my I need my oven glove and then I'm good. <laughs> and then you're good. Give right. my oven gloves in a can and a and a and a hot cast iron skillet. I'm good. Oh yeah, dude. No, fuck no. And I rode bike Yo, and I rode on Sunday. That was that was that was the last part of the <laughs> before we close yeah, out. Dude, my I rode dog eight miles. Is farting up a storm. Yeah, that was a good one. My dog is farting up a storm in this room, which is weird because I just took him out and he shitted. So and and you're locked in there weird. with him. Yeah, he's just dude. He's he's just crop dusting the shit out of me. He's he's out here. Uh, the white dude from Independence Day. Me, I forget his name in that movie. <laughs> up Damn. yours. Yeah. We're gonna have to talk about that on one episode, man. Like the best the best movies that you could constantly watch for the rest of forever. All the time, every time I can watch Independence Day. Yeah, one hundred percent, dude. I, son, I still get hyped when Will Smith punches the alien. Right. Welcome to Earth, bitch. Well, fuck it. Yes, motherfucker. That alien in my mind is real. Like Will really did that shit. Like, that's that's how much I had. Yeah. That's a great fucking movie. That's what Jada did to Will. She punched his oh, ego. Son. Uh, we're gonna have to talk about <laughs> we'll that. We have one to talk day. that another time. Another time. Another that's time. That's their Will, lifestyle. That, I'm not that, hating on them, man. That's their lifestyle. They that, love each other. That hurt to watch. So, but the, for sure, don't publicize that though. They love don't each other. Don't have a man. fucking honor interview. No, keep that private, bro. Well, that's who they are. They're public right, figures. They are. They definitely are. 100% public.